Hello everyone, this is Pritam Shah and welcome to my YouTube channel Cognitive Coder. So today we will see one another interview question from PwC that is five for uh, in data engineering uh, interview session what what kind of question they have asked that we will see. Uh, previously also we have see, seen one uh, uh, PwC interview question and today we will see another another uh, question. Okay and we'll try to solve it okay but before going to that and uh, i would like to introduce my channel cognitive coders so this is my channel cognitive coders okay uh, as you guys all know know that we used to upload uh, upload uh, the data engineering related videos, PySpark related interview questions, SQL interview questions, and PySpark and data, Databricks uh, series that uh, that I have already uploaded. There are 62 videos. Uh, if you want to learn PySpark uh, and Databricks, then you must go to the whole playlist. Okay, each and every video, then you will. Uh, you will get the uh, the basic gist uh, of the PySpark and database. Okay, if you want to learn PySpark, then please go through the all the videos. After completing all the six two videos, you will you will you will analyze your confidence that how much confident you, in you in in, uh, in PySpark. Okay, you are okay. That I can assure you. Okay. If you have, if you, if you, if you think that you need one-to-one -one session for that, also you you can contact me through Topmate or LinkedIn or Instagram. That is free of cost. You don't need to pay anything to me. Okay, you can directly ping me. Okay, or you can also comment on the video section on. So without wasting time, coming to our today's topic. So in PwC, uh, the interviewer asked that they have given some data like this in a csv file okay in a csv file they have given the data like this so how to handle this multiple delimiter that we need to think okay so so first of all uh, i'm putting uh, putting this all uh, whole data in a csv file okay so this kind of question I have already discussed earlier also in my real time scenario series. Okay, here I have already discussed. Okay, uh, how to find delimited dynamic dynamically. Okay, this real time scenario. There is a playlist real time scenario. Okay, that, that series I have already discussed this kind of scenario. Okay, you can also go through that video and after uh, after going to this video, you can solve this uh, this question by yourself. Okay. Or just go through. Uh, without skipping, just just go through the video. You, you will get to understand what I am doing and what logic I am applying applying here. Okay. So uh, first, what we will do? So first, uh, as I told you, I am putting it in a CSV file. Let's put the data in a CSV file as they have asked us to. Uh, read the data from a CSV file. So I'm putting this raw data in a CSV file, and after that, I'll try to read the data. So as we have uh, we have different delimiters, but the main you can see the main column delimiter is this five. Okay. So during reading from a CSV, PA well, so how to read read the CSV file that I have already explained in my Python database three. You can go through that. I'll keep the uh, the video link in the i button. You can also check from there. Okay. So D F equals to path dot read dot CSV. Then give then just give the path okay whatever path you have given just give the path here and make the header true 
see and there is a one option separated there you mention your main separate okay after that try to print the data frame okay so if i will print the data frame let's see what we see here this one the command And there is an issue okay 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 i need to keep the absolute path one minute let me check the path from the catalog dbfs then file store no 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 then file store then pwc multiple delimiter okay. my file name is okay. now what i need to do i need to copy the path okay uh, Uh, one thing it is giving why it is giving uh, okay absolute path means you need to give the dbs the dbs protocol path okay so this path you need to give you can't give the api format file api format path okay, okay. now you will get the data now i am getting it. so now in sorry in uh, the column name column name should be changed it should be uh, uh we, we can provide with the output and uh, so quarterly sales uh, virat's first quarter sales uh, and second quarter sales and third quarter sales they have given okay so some of the products okay they are given so uh, so what i what i can do so this is this is the first quarter sales uh, second one is second quarter sales and third one is third quarter sales okay so here we need to separate the sales okay so for separating the sales what, what i need to do first uh, i need to create one new column and after that uh, i need to separate the thing from here okay. so let's see what i need to do so let's import from file.sql dot function then import to click function okay click function okay so now ga final equals to okay ga dot column Okay. So, EF dot with column. Uh, so, first quarter. My column name will be first quarter. So, first Q, okay. Uh, I'm writing like this first Q. And then, what I need to do? Then, Q is three function. So here I will import one thing, the call function also for calling the column. Okay, call okay, quarterly sales. Okay, uh, I'll copy it from here for saving my time. Okay, quarterly sales. Write it like this and um, the speed, uh, speed would be applicable 
after comma okay now if i try to create final dot show right, see the data frame what will be my output Let's see so i'm getting the thing like a like a array okay so the first quarter cell is not my whole whole array cell only the first index for that reason what i need to do i just need to do mention the index here if i do like this then i'm getting it. so so for getting other other cells other quarter cells i just need to do thing like this Again, this is going to be my second quarter cell. This is going to be my third quarter cell. Okay. This would be one and fifteen. Let's run it. So I'm getting my all the quarter cells for each and every employee. Okay. So. After getting all the quarter cells, if I want to drop the quarter cells column, then just check it and here it will drop the box. Okay, so this is a very simple but uh, uh, very mostly asked interview question, this kind of question. Okay, uh, so if you like this video please do like share and subscribe our youtube channel and please 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 do support us without your support please support us and uh, stay with us please 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 share our youtube channel with your friends colleagues uh, and uh, and and watch the videos if you if you if you think it's a useful please please do like and comment okay if we need if we need to do any kind of improvement that that also please suggest us okay without your support we can't go forward we can't uh, reach to the broader audience okay please 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 do support us we have already uploaded 99 videos okay please go through the videos you will get to understand how the data, data field is work uh, in our real uh, real world okay how the big data is handled by Pyspur, adf okay data breach that thing okay adf the adf videos also we are, we are preparing and uh, i think from the next month onward uh we'll we'll start uploading okay so stay tuned with us and subscribe our youtube channel whenever i will upload the video that time you will get the notification okay and stay with us thank you thank you for watching this video bye